Uh, here we're in, uh, we've moved locations to try to find some active sod webworms so you could get an idea about where they live. And uh, as you can see, we're during the middle of the day, and when these things are exposed, they curl up. Their their telltale sign is they, uh, they, they curl up in this C. Uh, you can kind of, you see, see the worm right here. Uh, and then he's laying in this this stuff here. That's that's their excrement. And uh, there, I, I see you can't see them, but I see several more of these little worms moving around uh, back behind this. And uh, this area right here is the affected area. You can see it's a little bit yellowed off, and you see the jagged tips of the grass and whatnot. It's not a real big area, and there's probably not a whole lot of worms in this area, but what will happen is the, the, a couple of worms do this damage and a couple more do it over here, and all of a sudden these things are intersecting. And if you have a lot of worms, it can really, uh, it can really uh, knock an area out in a big hurry. But uh, these, these worms are... Uh, they're, they're, a few of them don't hurt much, and especially if you've got grass that's out in the sun. But if you have grass, uh, especially newly planted grass, in a shady area of some kind, uh, they can be a real big problem because they'll eat all the leaf tissue that's uh, gathering sunlight off, and there's nothing to gather sunlight, and the grass will it'll it'll disappear in a it'll disappear in a hurry. So, anyways, just wanted to show uh, some of the some of the slight damage and and see if we could find some of the sod webworm here so that's what we have here we just want to uh, show a little little bit closer uh, uh, shot of, of the damage that these things cause as you can see uh, people equate it to uh, it they, they wake up one morning and it looks like somebody the, the yard will be kind of an off-color brown and uh, obviously this yard has as the they did their damage about six weeks ago so this isn't a great example of, but it's the only one I had for for right now but uh, they they come in and they it looks like somebody hit it with a weed eater because you'll see it's it's jagged it de definitely doesn't look like a mower hit it uh, so you'll see these jagged jagged looking uh, leaves where they eat they eat down to the to where it gets tough so basically they eat the good young tender stuff off the top and then they and then they leave it so it looks like a, a weed eater ran over it and you'll see here some new growth starting to come out of those shoots and whatnot but because this is a shaded area uh, it, it, it's it's really tough for the grass to make a comeback because there's not much leaf tissue exposed they eat the good leaf, leaf tissue that's collecting sunlight uh, they eat it off and uh, the grass can't do its its photosynthesis thing, and uh, it will uh, it'll it'll end up looking like this. This yard's definitely going to have to be going to have to be replaced. So, just wanted to give you a idea about what uh, what kind of damage these things can do. They're 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 pretty tough, so you need to be vigilant for sure.